last week on The Season. Yeah, this is our park, man. This is all we have, man. This little, this clothesline right here to this green tank right here was touchdown. My mom was just disappearing for like two, three weeks at a time. He just explained the situation in terms of not always actually being able to eat. He said, listen, this is your home. This is home. Feel like home, treat it like home. This is home. Some of the situations he's been in to get to this point is, uh, is a miracle. I just look back and see how far I am now, getting ready to graduate in May. You know, it's, it's crazy. He comes down the sidelines to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. He's in the end zone! Touchdown, Derrick Jones! I told you this morning the difference in the past and history. The past is what really happened. The history is what they remember. Hey, you took a big step today in making history. This year it is my fourth year cheering here at Ole Miss. I've loved cheering so much. It has been so part of like my experience and I really cannot imagine college without it. Being nominated as homecoming queen has been the most unreal experience. I'm so beyond grateful for both my cheer experience and now the homecoming queen experience. It's just, I'm so happy and it's just, it's just been so great and wonderful, it really has. What's up, Rebel Nation? Um, this is Evan Ingram here in front of the beautiful union, in front of the, in the beautiful Grove. We're out here bothering some students today um, to try to get them to use the uh, Rebel Rewards app and uh, show them a little magic in making this poster come alive. So we're going to bother some of our great students today, and uh, and I got this thing here. So we're going to we'll go ahead and get this action thing rolling. Do you want to see a magic trick, though? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Gather around, people. Everybody gather around, gather around. Look, you guys mind me showing y'all some magic today, man? I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Through the Rebel Rewards app, you can download this for free. And uh, if you have a poster, one of these posters at home, you can, this poster's gonna come alive. It's gonna come alive. 17, baby. Make sure you hang up this poster on your wall so you know where it came from. Oh my gosh. What? See, it moves around a little bit, too. Yeah. No way. Told y'all it was magic, man. Right? Try to tell y'all. You guys can do this anytime through the Rebel Wars app. Mm -hmm. Just download it. It's under AR video. Just put the camera on the on post it. And Chad has one. There's Marquise Haynes. There's Tony Connor. So you got to do it. You got to. You got to. You my 17. Got to. The Thank truth. you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for uh, participating and witnessing my great, my great skills. Thank you, guys. My mom's going to die. <laughs> she loves you, too. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. It's good to see you. You too. Rebel Nation, I think it's a wrap. I think we've done a great job of uh, spreading the awareness about the Rebel Rewards app. Just experience it live. It's a, it's a cool app and, it, and it's really cool to experience. So, um, like I said, it's a wrap and I will see you guys later. When we return... You can't speak of things like that. Those are stories that are just special. I don't know if it gets any redder and bluer. It's, uh, you know, it's, that's the way we grew up. That's all we know. Just to be around it and to see our whole family be a part of it makes it special. Sanjay's pass to Eaton is complete, but Tommy Luke's tackle jarred the ball loose. 
Dallas backfield for the Rebels on third and two. Luke on the option is going to keep. He's got the first down of the 25 to the 20. Brace clear at the 10. Five. Touchdown. Ole Miss. High formation. Peterson is wide out to the right. Armstrong is wide left. The give is to the second back straight ahead. Cannon's got some room. He's to the two. One. Did he get in? Stop. Just shy. The Luke family, you know, if, if you want to know what, what it is to be Ole Miss, you just look at the Luke family, looking at Big Tommy Luke, Tom Luke, uh, Matt, all of them through and through. I mean, if you want, if you cut them, they're going to bleed red and blue. Me and Tom shared a room, and there was a picture of him playing up there. Being from, you know, Nanawaya, Mississippi, a small 1A high school, uh, and playing here and going to the NFL, I, I mean, I just thought, always thought that was awesome. We grew up coming to Ole Miss games, been traveling up for all the homecoming games, obviously. We were five or six hours away, but we'd make it to as many games we could. But he played uh, in the heyday and the, you know, the times when they were, they were going to big time bowls and playing for, uh, you know, right there on the verge of winning national championships year in and year out. It was, it's always good to, to have uh, role models like that growing up and to have him and Tom, you know, both Ole Miss players and both something for me to look up to, I always thought that was really cool. It was something special for you to play for Ole Miss, and I think that that kind of got handed down to me is, hey, there was no other place uh, that I was even going to consider playing for. Luke back to throw. He's looking. He's firing long in the end zone. He's got a man there. It is caught. Touchdown. Luke is back to throw. Pressured out of the pocket, running for his life. Looking downfield, fires long. It is bobbled and then hauled in by Camp Roberts. I only knew one way to play, and uh, you know, I, and I heard people kind of whispering in the background and saying it, but I didn't look at myself as being any different than anybody else. Tom being a starting quarterback and a starting pitcher. You know, I wore his jerseys, you know, I came to the Grove and, you know, that was my childhood. That's what I grew up, you know, we play football on Friday and drive all night to come watch him play on Saturday. I think they ran a triple option back then, I think if I'm not mistaken. But I'll tell you what, he, he still has an arm, still has it. And I mean, I haven't seen much film, but I, I heard he was the man though. <laughs> In order for me to play, it had to be something else that you had to bring to the table. You had to be able to uh, make everybody else around you better. Seven years later, the Luke family would again have a presence at Ole Miss, this time on the offensive line. You know, when they gave me an opportunity to play, that was something that I had worked for my whole career and I wasn't going to give it up. I think I was a competitor. I think I, I played with, uh, with emotion. I was an emotional player. Having a brother that's seven years older than you and having a, you know, a dad that has been there and played in the NFL, you know, you want to. You don't want to let let them down, and you want to make sure you compete. That competitive passion would follow Matt Luke from the trenches of the line of scrimmage to coaching on the sidelines. Just a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous man. Um, loves his family. Loves what he does. Uh, probably worries too much and uh, works tirelessly at uh, at making this program better. All right, let's go. Come on. Play the next play. Don't blink. Don't blink. One play at a time. Don't lose your focus. Don't give him nothing. Don't lose your focus. So instead of coming in and missing him inside, as he loops out, get thick on him. You know, just him being around, you know, him knowing the Ole Miss, you know, legacy, it really helps us to, you know, be motivated in some games that they've been in, the LSU game, the Mississippi State games, you know, just different things like that. Rebels get the stop on defense. Vandy will punt away. It's Openshaw standing at his 22. Back to receive the punt is Carlos Davis at the Rebel 25. Here's the punt, and it is blocked. The Rebels do finally get one. Bounced up in the air and grabbed by one of the Vanderbilt players and tackled to the 19-yard line. It was special. You know, you try not to let your most, especially in the game, you're trying to win the game. But uh, I was so happy for him because he worked so hard to try to do anything he could to, to help the team. He started doing things in practice, kind of playing hard when he walked across the white lines and going hard in scout team. And then to see it all come true in the Vanderbilt game, for him to block the punt at a crucial time, at you know, at that stage of the game, and for it to be him to be a part of it, you know, special. Hey, you have no idea how big that was. You have no idea how big that was. Chip off the old block. I got really close to the Luke family my previous stop here. Tom and I became friends, and uh, to have Tom back here and Matt, 
see their father come around and then have Tom's son, Kale, uh, on our team uh, and, and doing significant things for us to contribute to this football team. Um, you know, I, I think it's pretty special, pretty neat that three generations of uh, the Luke family have uh, represented uh, the great red and blue at, uh, at Ole Miss. What I did know is that Matt was from Mississippi and when I started seeing Matt's, um, Matt's emotion and excitement you know, when we would get close to the Egg Bowl or we get close to the LSU game and his passion for Ole Miss. Um, and then when Tom joined the staff, you know, uh, it was very similar, very similar in the same regards. And then, you know, Kale walking on and getting a block punt in the game and to see the excitement on his father and his uncle's face and um, what that meant to their entire family. Uh, it's just, you can't speak of things like that. Those are stories that are just special. I don't know if it gets any redder and bluer. It's, uh, you know, it's, that's the way we grew up, that's all we know, and whether they're the best team in the country or whether we're owing whatever, you know, it's you're still gonna defend your brother, and that's what Ole Miss is to us family, and that's our brother. I mean, it's, it's, it's who I am. It's how I was raised, and uh, just to be able to, uh, to be a part of it and be mentioned uh, with my dad and my brother, and now Kale, it's my whole family, and, um, and that's, that's what we grew up, that's what we knew. And now to be able to represent that, being a graduate and uh, being a coach and have being a player, just to just to be around it, I think um, I think it's special. And it may make it a little tougher during the hard times, but it sure makes it special when we can represent the University of Mississippi uh, at the highest level, maybe better now um, than at any time before. And to see our whole family be a part of it makes it special. Stay tuned. Memphis with third and two. There's the snap. Play action pass near side. Picked off. Woods is taking it to the house. Touchdown. Ole Miss. Two pick sixes. Two weeks. Turn up, man. Right here. Section B, row 17. So we're this way. You think you're going to be able to play like this? Hmm? <laughs> We're here, Section B. We got 13, 14, 15, 16. Go down, let me get on it. It's in there, you just gotta go down, dig deep and get it. It's in there, you gotta play like it. You gotta dig down in there deep and pull it out tonight. It's in there! It's in there! You gotta dig down deep and pull it out! Burst, come on. Hey, be great. Hey, be great today. Don't be that dude now. Come on, dog. Hey, big plays out you now. Hey, you showed up for four. Hey, you showed up for four. Can you do it for five? Can you do it for five? Can you do it for five? You got me? Hey, hey, be us. Hey, you ain't got to do anything different. You ain't got to do anything different. Be you. You're good, you're good enough. Hey, I can't wait to see y'all play. I love you, boys. Hey, let's go. I'm out the circle. Hey, let's go. Playmakers out three, one, two, three. Playmakers. Hey, it's money. It's going to be real short and sweet. First night game, New Vault Hemingway Stadium. A standard needs to be set. You get 12 opportunities in the course of a season that you work year round for. Please don't waste one. Please don't waste one. You don't win a game like this with people that are close to you by running your mouth. That's not how you win it. You win it with that headgear, with them pads, with taking care of the ball, with going to get the ball, doing your assignment with great enthusiasm for 60 minutes. Send a message. Let's go. Go. The youngsters of those that lost their lives led the team on the field just moments ago and they're along the sidelines, Richard, and that's pretty doggone cool. It's, uh, it's been really special in a way to, to see the way the Oxford community has wrapped its round, uh, arms around those three families. Let's play some football. Here's the opening kickoff, Ole Miss and Memphis from Oxford. This is a feisty Memphis team coming in that can score on anybody and anywhere. There's the snap on third and two. Screen. There's the screen, and it's blown up by Ole Miss. The safety, Zedrick Woods, and it's fourth down. Let's go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, go. All three, you go. 
snap. Fell again. He's got a hand off to Judd. Sweeping left. He's got a chance. He's in the 5 2 1. Did he break the plane or no? They say out of bounds at the half yard line. Right there. Right there. First down. Oh, man. will keep it. Using the skip ball. Touchdown, Rebels. He was in trouble in the backfield, but found a way to get free and dove into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. A minute 10 to go in the first quarter. Ole Miss leads 7 0. Gun formation. There's the snap. Play action pass near side. Picked off by Woods. Woods is taking it to the house. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Dedrick Woods jumped the route. Yes, sir. Yeah, and that play, we're in uh, one of our 3-4 looks where Marquise is kind of a stand-up linebacker coming off the edge. And he ran right at the mesh point, put the quarterback in a hurry. Obviously, the guy hadn't even turned around yet, and, and Zedrick had a great eye on it and came right to him. Well, I don't think he was expecting it, and Woods picked it clean as a whistle and got six. And for the second consecutive game, Ole Miss gets a touchdown from that land shark defense. Let's go! We up in this thing all day! Two big sixes, two weeks. Turn up, man! Pressure from Haynes on third down. Ball is loose. Scooped up by Ole Miss. We talk about every time you get to the quarterback to make sure you get the ball out. And, uh, and he did that. And, and Tomahawked right on the quarterback's hand, knocked the ball, and then DJ wrapped right into it and it bounced right up into his, his hands. And it was pretty awesome to see two D linemen in on the play. Let's go, oh, punch it in. There's the snap, he fakes to Buford, turns, got a bootleg, trying to get there on his own, and he gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Jason Ellerin for the six. I saw a lane. Hey, Greg. That was a huge block. Hey, Ole Miss 24, Memphis 7 at the break. You're playing a good football team that is explosive and can score a lot of points. You have to lock in for 60 minutes. You got 30 more minutes to go and outplay them with heart, <laughs> desire, physicality, passion, taking care of the ball, offense, defense, keep go getting the ball. You got to go send a message. It's 60 minutes tonight, nothing else. 60 minutes. We play the next 30 better than we played the first 30. Finish this thing. Rise up. One, two, three. Rise up. Off to Judd, left side. He's got some room. He's a 50 to the 45. Breaks a tackle on the near sideline. Go, boy, go, boy, go, boy, go, boy. Has a blocker in front. He's at the 25 to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Oh Miss. And now, whoop, they're saying he stepped, stepped out on the out three. Oh, my oh, wow. Oh, they called him out right at the one. We got two more. We got two quarters, man. Play next play. Come on, Judd. Facing another fourth down, one play would bring the Tiger offense roaring back to life. Smith, and now they're going to dump it underneath on a fake, and it's caught, breaking a tackle up to 30 to 35, and out of bounds on the near sidelines around the 40. That was brilliant execution. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a fake punt like that. Ferguson rolling to his right, stops, throws downfield, open receiver, and it's caught. Anthony Miller inside the 20. Now the handoff straight ahead to the end zone. Touchdown, Dorcias and Memphis with a gutsy call on a fourth down punting situation. Went for it, got it, and then boom, boom, touchdown for the Tigers. Explosive play. Hey, right, we are keep playing, dog. We just gave up a touchdown. That was a free touchdown. That can't happen. Again, going quickly. And Ferguson waltzes into the end zone. Everybody went for Dorcius. Ferguson kept it, and Memphis within a score. You know, as a defensive coach, you really don't like when those things happen. And um, you look over the scoreboard, all of a sudden it's a one-score game in the third quarter. And that was the exact same thing that happened last year. You know, we won't worry. We already knew we, how fast our offense can score. So, you know, Chad got us, you know, composed and told us, you know, let's go down there and score quick. Rolled him asleep and found number 17, Evan Ingram, with the TD, his fourth of the year. Hey, let's go! We're going fast! And while the offense was firing through the air, ultimately the ground game would tame the Tigers in the fourth quarter. There's the snap, handoffs to Brazzett. He's working to the left, hesitated for a moment, lowers his head, dives for the pylon, touchdown! Oh, man! That's the way to do it! 
You know, most teams look at us as a passing team, and that shows that we also can run the ball as well. He's going to give it to Brasley. Brasley straight ahead. He's got room to the 20, the 15, the 10. He's going to get there to the 5. Diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. It's a Eugene Brasley night. I watch Antonio Brown, you know, point, and he said, always oh, he said, call guys, so I thought that was neat. You know, when he got it, I knew he was going to score because he broke that hole. I was like, oh, he's going for a touchdown automatically. And it's over. Ole Miss 48, Memphis 28. The Rebels are 3-2 and two going into an open day. got that win back. Now it's time to get on this road with the SEC stuff, man. That was a big win. You know, I had to get that bad taste out of my mouth from last year. Yeah, we got this bye week coming up. Just got to get everybody back healthy, get ready to come back for some SEC play. But I want to tell you now, we, we've still got a long way to go. We still long make way. a lot of mistakes. But I want to tell you, that one meant a lot to me. And uh, there were some good things. We have some things we have to improve on in the open week if we want to make a run here after it's over. I'm real pleased. I thought our defense made uh, – created turnovers, which was great for us. Still got a, a lot of improving to do on that side of the ball, particularly at linebacker. And, um, and, but offensively, we answered when we needed to. Good game, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to get a key to take it. Oh, what do y'all take it? Every year when the schedule comes out, I always look to see who we have an extra week to prepare for and um, <clears throat> to get that extra week for Arkansas, a team who's going to pound us and, and present problems who we've had problems in the past defending. Um, I think we're really excited about that and, and, uh, and to have some fun too, to get out there and have some fun with the guys, get back to work, and then not to be stressed out next Saturday. Sit down and watch other people stress while we're on our couch for a day will be fun.